Web scraping is the easiest way to access useful data at scale. But unfortunately, that data is buried in the depths of the internet, which the majority of web scrapers can't reach. Countless CAPTCHAs, IP blocks, and other anti-bot measures often stand in the way of anyone wanting to access that sweet, juicy data. And only with human-like proxies you can stand a real chance against them. But it looks like I found a platform that can help you. It's called Data Impulse. Because they've sponsored this video today, they've given me access to their platform so I can show you how you can acquire and set up proxies and how to connect them to a web scraping tool. I'm gonna show you the whole process step by step. So by the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to access the data you need or your business to grow and how much it will cost you. Even if you have limited coding experience, you don't want to invest hundreds of dollars at the start. So let's jump in. Step number one, go to dataimpulse.com. As you can see, these have residential proxies for any needs, just $1 per one gigabyte. This is extremely cheap in comparison with some other proxy services I've shared with you earlier. All we need to do to start is to click on try now. Now that we're on the inside, let's go to step number two, select a plan. So all we need to do is to go to the left side here and click on add new plan. This is where you can select between residential proxies, data center proxies, and mobile proxies. I'm going to be using residential proxies because we get 5 million ethically sourced unique IPs in 195 countries. So all I'm going to do is create a new order. I'll name it residential proxy plan 2. Quantity, we have 5 gigabytes, price at $1, and the total price is obviously 50 bucks. And then we'll click on proceed. But now we need to set it up so let's go to step number three setting up the proxy so you'll land on this page right here where you see that you have the proxy access this will get important later when we actually start using it in various different applications of your choosing but one thing that is very important is we're gonna set up the countries so the default target here will do united states we do united kingdom let's do australia ireland and let's put Norway in there for good luck. Or what you can do is actually exclude countries that you don't want the IP to come from. We'll leave it like this. Click on save configuration. And now you see at the bottom, you actually have proxy list. This is what we're going to use when we actually apply it into the next step. Set up a web scraper. Just go to dataimpulse.com slash tutorials. Now, I don't know what type of proxy that you want to set up you have anything from mac os to the chrome browser windows android puppeteer as well that many have issues when it comes to just automating your browser same with playwright scrapey as well if you ever tried any browser automations you know you will get into a lot of blocks really quickly i really love that they have so many different variations of how to use proxies as well as tutorials for every single one of them to make it as easy for you as possible. One of my favorites is AppFi, which is super simple to set up. So that's what I'm going to show you right now. I'll just click on learn more and you can see that the tutorial is very detailed, but instead of having to read, I'm just going to show you right now. So I'm going to go to AppFi. I'll click on store and this is where I'm going to use the web scraper. It's going to be this one right here. And now I'm just going to set up the configuration. Here is where you will enter a start URL. We're going to use the crawly.dev that is a basic demo and then you can see when we scroll a little bit down we'll enter the proxy and browser configuration here's where you can see that you have multiple different ways of entering proxies but we're going to go to own proxies because we're going to use data impulse and you can see that the format is username password at myproxy.example.com colon port so what we're going to do is we're going to copy 
this one right here to make it easy to copy and paste. Then we're gonna go back to data impulse. We're gonna copy the login and put it in the username paste. We're gonna copy the proxy host and put that after the at symbol. Then again, the proxy port, copy and paste it into the last section and the password, we're gonna copy from this right here. Double click and paste. Now I need to blur this so you don't steal my valuable proxies. But all I need to do now is just click on save and start. As you can see in developer mode, and you see that we're starting to crawl and we got this file back and you can see that everything is starting to scrape. And this means that you've set it up correctly. For example, if I do a typo in the proxy with four S's and run it again, what will happen is that you see reclaiming failed and it actually doesn't work. So that's how you know you set everything up correctly and your proxies are working. Also, when we see in the dashboard, you see a lot of data that has been scraped as well. And an interesting thing with data impulse is that they actually have an affiliate program, which is very unique for proxy websites. Not only can you use these yourself, but because proxies are getting more and more popular, you could sell one of these and you will actually get 15% of each payment of referred users. So that means if you have many active users, you get a lot of money for that. Just imagine you land a big client that uses a lot of proxies and scrapers. So you now know how to set up a proxy from scratch connected to a web scraper and get access to the data your business needs in order to grow without spending hundreds of dollars per gigabyte. I highly recommend checking out data impulse in the link in the description thank you so much to data impulse for sponsoring this video and as always i'll see you in the next one